Hello, this is Jeffrey Kendall, Pelican in the Wilderness. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I had a reoccurring dream with rattlesnakes in it, and I can date this dream to the third grade. In third grade, we learned Burke County history. One story we heard was about a woman who opened up a cabin in the spring. Rattlesnakes had overwintered in the fire pit. The rattlesnakes bit her, and she died. In my dream, I'm in my house, in my bed and rattlesnakes are everywhere. They come out from under the bed, they come out of vents, they come out from behind doors, they drop down from the ceiling, they're everywhere. I think, I have to save my family. So I jump up and run to save them. As I run, the snakes bite me. I think I have to save my family. I struggle, the snakes keep biting me, the venom in me increases, I weaken, I weaken, I slow down, then there's nothing. As a, kid, as a kid, I simply associated the dream with the story, but I did wonder why there were no people in my dream. I never saw my family that I was trying to rescue. A codependent is someone with a weak sense of self. This is created through abuse. Because he has a weak sense of self, he identifies with another person, and he seeks to save that person at the expense of himself. He destroys himself for the sake of the other. Now this sounds Christ-like, that's what Jesus Christ did, except this does not come from strength, it comes from weakness, it comes from a lack of self-identity. In my dream, I'm struggling to save my family. The rattlesnakes kill me. I never saw my family, I never saw a single person, I only saw the rattlesnakes. I think the rattlesnakes were my family. As I tried to save them, they killed me. This is a codependent nightmare. It's a prototypical codependent nightmare. If you think we should speak up about abuse, please subscribe to my channel and support my efforts. If you think my stories will help someone, please like my video, comment on it, and share it.